Chile and the Philippines. This is my introduction video, me introducing myself to you, explaining about my life and what I'm about and what my channel is going to be about. This is actually the first time I've sit and sat down in front of a camera and actually talked to a camera. So if I seem a little nervous or I seem a little off or a little goofy, please um, forgive me. I'm sure as I do more videos, uh, I will get better with time. Anyways, a little about myself. I was born in the United States of America, uh, the northeastern area, the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, born and raised in the suburbs or outside the suburbs or what we call the suburbs of Philadelphia. For those that live in the suburbs or even those that live in the city of Philadelphia, uh, it's a short slang word we use for Philadelphia called Philly. Thus, that's how I came up with the first half of my channel, Philly in the Philippines. Now, let me tell you a little story. A little journey that I took a few years ago. A few years ago, I was looking for somewhere to retire, somewhere to live on a on a fixed income. Um, as we know here in the States, things can be a little pricey, uh, things can be a little expensive um, to live. Um, so I started doing some research, give or take around 2010, 2011, and look for different places around the world that I thought, you know, I could live a decent life, live a happy life on a fixed income. One of my searches led me to the Philippines. At the time, there wasn't too much on the Philippines. Um, I, most of it were basic people just putting videos of their vacations. Uh, but I mean, there was some I could, you know, I did find enough to where I went. Anyways, um, October 2012, I left the United States and went over to the Philippines to visit. Now, at the time I went over, I went over for three weeks. I will get into more in depth uh, of what I did, you know, while I was over there the first couple trips and my experience. Right now, I'm going to keep it simple and keep it short. I returned back um, from visiting over there and said, well, it's nice, it's warm, it's friendly, uh, beautiful, I thought it was very beautiful. And, you know, for the most part, I could communicate and speak with everyone because they either spoke English or they uh, understood English. Everything was written in English wherever you went. So February 2013, I flew back over. This time I spent roughly four months over there, getting to know a little more about the Philippines, a little more about the people, a little more about you know the uh, the way of life, um, the culture, um, and May I flew back here to the states. October 2013, I actually had planned to m literally fly over and live, but things changed. Things changed for the better. Anyways, October I had left, and this time I spent eight months over there. In that eight months, I met my wife, and in that eight months, I, I, I lived in the Philippines. I rented an apartment, um, f uh, went to the markets, went to the, uh, the malls, went to, uh, 
You name it. I mean, I, I'd live there like any other person would live there. Uh, woke up in the morning. I wasn't there on vacation. I wasn't, you know, on the sunny beaches. I wasn't in a hammock all day long. I did, you know, we, my wife and I did a little bit of traveling. Not much. Um, but I lived there. Um, and I got to experience what life would be like there. Um, uh, I, like I had said, I, I hadn't planned to come back to the States. Um, my plan was going to be, I'm staying there. Anyways, um, I did come back to the States. Um, one of the reasons I came back is I had discussed with my fiance, my wife now, uh, at the time, uh, what she thought, you know, would she like to come back to the United States? Would she like to visit to see, you know, what, what the United States is about? And uh, experience a little, you know, life here in the States for a little bit. And, of course, sure, I mean, who, I think anybody given the opportunity from any other country, you know, would like to come to the States and see what the States are about. So I came back, I applied for a K-1 fiancé visa for her. Uh, that was in June of 2013. Um, maybe sometime in another video I can go and explain how the K-1 visa, fiancé visa works. Um, anyways, October, October the 11th, she was landing in Newark, New Jersey on the plane from the Philippines. December 6th of 2013, uh, I'm sorry, December 6th of 2014. I better get that right or she'll kill me. No, she's not like that. Anyways, uh, December 6th, 2014, we got married. Um, and we're enjoying our life here. Uh, in the States uh, right now. Um, she got to experience the cold winters here. Uh, she came in the fall, so she got to see the leaves change colors. She got to experience the cold winter and the snow. She got to experience the spring and the beautiful flowers and the blooming of all the trees. She got to experience the summer here. And now it is back into the fall, getting ready for the cold winter. Anyways, um, that right now is where I'm at in my life. Um, our plans are to move back to the Philippines. Uh, that was our plan from the beginning, uh, to spend a little time here in the States, um, spend some time with my family, uh, before we make the big move. Um, right now our plans are to move back to the Philippines next year, October, 2016. Uh, we're not quite sure. We haven't picked a date yet, but we do know it's going to be October. If things don't change, but right now that's our goal. Anyways, that's a little bit about myself, a little bit about uh, who I am, where I come from, where I'm going. Um, if you like my channel, uh, please subscribe. Give me some thumbs up. If you don't like, give me some thumbs down. I just know I don't want any negative comments, no bad mouthing, no bashing. That's not what I'm about. Um, I try to stay positive. I start to stay happy. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoy more of my videos as I continue to make them. Um, some of my videos might be older videos from a year or two ago, uh, three years ago. Either way, I hope you enjoy them, and until we speak again, until I, you listen to me, or until you watch my videos, be safe and God bless.